In this video, we're going to cover how you use Cloudflare 1 to protect the attack surfaces that could be targeted by multi-channel phishing attacks. The type and scope of phishing threats is expanding. Attackers are increasingly targeting organizations across a combination of different channels, moving beyond email and showing up in web, instant messaging, SMS, and social channels. And over 50% report crippling or significant impact from lost data and organizational productivity and revenue. Complex and disjointed security systems are failing to prevent increasingly sophisticated cyber attacks and are hindering the growth of modern, distributed organizations. Cloudflare helps organizations across all stages of the attack lifecycle by offering a single, composable platform and network to connect and protect their users, apps, and networks across any endpoint or infrastructure in any location. Enabling organizations to regain control, lower costs, and reduce the risks of securing a complex and disjointed IT environment by minimizing the attack surface, preventing initial compromise, eliminating lateral movement, and stopping exfiltration and extortion. Let's see how. Here, we have an IT administrator, Alice, who works for a fictional corporation. She receives an email from somebody she's been working with on a project, and this might be an employee or an external consultant, but the point is the context is familiar enough that she doesn't suspect anything about this link. And this, of course, is how phishing emails are designed, to look as plausible as possible to get people to the attacker's website. However, instead of going directly to a malicious link, we're brought to a coaching page explaining that this link might be malicious. If Alice still chooses to visit the page, she can do so safely as the link has been replaced with a Cloudflare Link Defender website. This lets us load the page in an isolated browser, preventing her device from directly interacting with the malicious page. This is all thanks to Cloudflare's cloud email security product, which performs massive scale fish indexing and analysis. It accomplishes this by intercepting all emails headed to your business, either via API or DNS MX records, and running them through an exhaustive contextual analysis that includes structural analysis, natural language processing, sentiment analysis, and trust graphs to determine whether or not an email is legitimate with a 100% success rate. Here, inside the platform, we can see an email that our cloud email security solution has quarantined, which includes a breakdown of which attack profiles this email matched to and a sanitized view of the malicious attachment in question. Here we can see the email link isolation portion, where we have our cloud email security solution rewrite the links and redirect users to isolated browsers, which are spun up at Cloudflare's Edge to proxy the web session for them, ensuring no code is trusted by default to run on their device. And this is effective across multiple channels and even against zero-day threats, as we can see in this next segment. Alice has gotten a text message from the CFO at our fictional company, and he's explaining he's about to go into a board meeting, and he really needs the latest sales report, so can she please click on the link? Here, the attacker has registered a domain that is similar to Alice's company, and the attacker has replicated the exact process Alice would normally go through to log into her company's Salesforce. So without any hesitation, she's going to start typing in her username and password. However, we can see this page is being isolated by Cloudflare, which has data protection controls enabled to prevent the use of her keyboard. Here, in the Cloudflare dashboard, we can see the exact browser isolation policy in effect against new domains. For attacks that have just been created, we can still protect the user without sacrificing productivity. And even if Alice somehow has her credentials or mobile device compromised, Cloudflare can help enforce the use of phishing-resistant MFA to protect sensitive applications across the organization. Inside an access policy that protects a sensitive database, we can change our MFA requirements to exclude the use of SMS when signing in. You can see this here. If Alice attempts to sign in using SMS as her second factor, she can no longer access the database. And in the event that Alice's account needs to be cauterized from the rest of the network, we can revoke her access to everything her device or account has access to from the dashboard itself. And since they've built their private network on Cloudflare and they're running their business on Cloudflare and sending their emails through Cloudflare, Alice's company can adapt to phishing attacks and other web-based threats wherever and whenever the threat arrives.